Welcome to Season 3 of Superior Angling TV, brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Today, we are up here with our buddy Zach. What are we doing today? Today, we're gonna to try to catch some rainbow trout. Rainbows. What we're gonna be doing today is watch the fish. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna sight fish them. So we're gonna cut a big hole in the ice with an ice saw and visually watch these fish as they come in and hopefully hit our lures. How deep are we gonna be fishing? Uh, today, in the spot we'll be, it's gonna be about 35 feet. Okay. But uh, there is, uh, where there used to be a forest, it collapsed into the bottom of this lake. So the bottom 25 feet of this lake are all deadhead trees, all brush. Oh, weird, interesting, Yeah, huh? it's, oh, it's, that's uh, cool. it's pretty neat. That's cool. Um, we're gonna be focusing on the top of the water column okay. for these stream trout and uh, they yeah. just come right out of the brush. Good, good, that's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. We have warm weather, it finally warmed up here a little bit. We're excited about that. We have a little walk in front of us here to get back to where we're going, but we should be in for a good day. Um, we're gonna set up the outer hub house, cut a big hole, and get on top of these fish. So stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. We have made it now. The real work starts. We're gonna cut a hole. How much ice do you think we have here? Um, I'd say anywhere between 12, 16 inches. Okay, all right, so we're gonna pop a couple holes with the auger just to get our hole down there. And then we're gonna take the ice saw and drill out a hole. Um, and then you have tongs to kind of get out the big chunks, right? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take that big, huge chunk of ice and we'll cut it into some smaller blocks just yeah. so we're not breaking our backs getting it out. Exactly, yeah. good deal, okay. Very exciting way to fish. Yeah. To visually see these fish come in is just, it's awesome. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So we're gonna cut the hole, set up the outer hub, and then we'll get to fishing, but um, we got some work ahead of us right now. <laughs> All right, we got that drilled. I need a coffee break, <laughs> but no, we got fish to catch. So 
Now you can't, it's hard to say, lean down and grab these things. So you have, I have a pair of ice tongs here. Um, my boss's brother was kind enough to let me borrow. So yeah, those are nice. All this works is we're gonna put this around the edge of the piece of ice here. And the harder you pull, the harder it grabs. Look at that. That's a lot of ice. That's a ton of ice. That's a little more than 16 inches. Huh? <laughs> I hope we see a rainbow that long today. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh. That's a heavy chunk of ice. Yeah. Put that in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got it. Now, the reason we didn't push all of these under the ice, it would have been a lot easier, but we have to mark these holes. So it's kind of your responsibility as an angler, if you're doing this, to properly mark these holes for the safety. So um, just leave them set up kind of like this. We're gonna move them out of the way for now so we can set up our house, but when we leave for the day, push these back, right? Absolutely, yep. Some guys put like pine boughs and mark them like that too, but. Yeah, it's uh, it's some guys might run over a small pine branch with their sled, but uh, yep. most guys will stop at a two foot chunk of ice. Yeah, yeah, they'll see, you'll see that. Yeah. And that way, I mean, no snowmobile probably won't drop through that, but a four wheeler would. So, right. um, just like to mark it, just to be as safe as possible. But yep. that's a lot of ice. And without these ice tongs, you're gonna struggle to get those out. Yeah, so that'd been a fight. that's a nice uh, asset to have for sure. All right, one step closer. <laughs> hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose, and that is why we exist, because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Winter is here, and so are the savings on Lund and Crestliner boats at RJ Sport and Cycle, located in Duluth. We are your fishing boat headquarters for sales, service, rigging, and much more. Shop our great selection of boats for a variety of fishing styles, including Lake Superior trolling, inland lake walleye, panfish, and much more. From tillers to side consoles and full windshield models, we sell them all. Stop in and see us today at RJ Sport and Cycle, located off Miller Trunk Highway in Hermantown. All right, we have our ice hole cut inside. Now we are going to, we're gonna fish two, two rods in the house. We're gonna put out one iFish Pro in shallower with a little spoon and some wax worms. Um, it's one rod per person on these designated trout lakes. So there's three of us here today, two people gonna be fishing in the house, one person running camera. That one bonus rod is gonna be outside in shallower. All right, so for these set lines, these rainbows come in and sometimes they melt your bait really fast and they let go right away. So we're going with the smallest profile possible. I've got a just a number 14 treble hook on there. Um, and I'm loading that up with waxies. I'm just gonna turn that into a chandelier. When they come in, you wanna give them something that they're gonna wanna hold on to for a while. So we're burying the barbs of these treble hooks in just a pile of waxworm meat. 
Looks something like this when you're done with it. Most rainbows can't refuse it. We're setting this bait about six feet under the ice. It takes a little bit when you're using a non-weighted line like this, but it's absolutely worth it to have a very small light presentation. All right, we got our house set up. I fish right there, let's go. Go, 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 yes. Oh, there we go, hooked up. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, no, he's free. A lot oh. of trees down there. Oh, so much timber. A lot timber. of trees. That took two seconds. Oh, we just put this line down. Look at that fish. Oh, that's a nice boat. Oh my gosh, nice rainbow. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That is a way to start the day. We're not even prepared. We're not even ready. <laughs> we didn't even get a chance to get in the house and the iFish Pro goes off. <laughs> Look at the jaw on this fish. Yeah, I wonder if he was caught before and released. He must have been somebody who was kind of rough on him. Yep. But that just goes to show you, catch and release works. Oh yeah. What's the length of these fish when they're stocked? When they're stocked, I think they're stocked with yearlings, so they're pretty small. So they're small, small so yeah, I mean, that goes to show you catch and release, guys. I mean, yes, this, you know, a bunch of these would taste good, but you got to protect a fishery at the same time. He just throttled that. <laughs> see if we can get that right there. That's a big rainbow. Nice. Right on. That's a big, big, big rainbow. Okay. I know I'm stealing all your glory, glory right now, buddy, oh, but right. we just right. want to be gentle on this fish and get them back down as soon as we can, because that's a... That's a heck of a fish that's approaching that upper teens inch range. Wow, what a start to the day. <laughs> Let's get him back. There you go, buddy. Look at that, it just slides right <laughs> under the ice. That's awesome, that's what we came here for. Man, <laughs> we're just saying like we got the house set up, we're gonna jump in the house. iFish Pro goes off. Bam, big rainbow. It's going to be a good one. Oh, what a time. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. I looked down, didn't even see this trout come in. Looked down just about in time to see him making his first swipe at my bait here. Treble hook gonna pop right out there. Wow. Beautiful little rainbow trout. Oh my gosh. Put up such a big fight for a little fish. They're so beautiful. <laughs> Came in, swiped at both our baits, mouthed them both a couple times. Came wow. in, ate the jig and wrap, and that was all she wrote. So is that your average size rainbow? This is just below average size, okay. I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Having a little bit of a slow start this morning, but that's trout fishing. <laughs> wow. All right, should we get her back? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that is so cool oh my gosh it's so cool that's such a blast to watch them come in play around with your bait and then commit like that right yeah got another one he just missed my lure get him get him hit him yeah oh just about a double that's about as close as you get 
Oh my god. Look at that fight on that little rainbow. Come on. Here he is. Look at the colors on that Holy guy. Holy cow, he's got a lot of red compared oh, to the last one. That's a dark trout. Gonna pop that jig right out here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see? Yeah. Holy cow. Keep a good grip on him because he'll want to take Ooh. off on you. Wow. And he was just sitting there. He was. We didn't I, even see him. You know what? I bet you he came in with that first trout right. in a small school, maybe two or three fish, and he was just waiting off the side for the action to be done. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so much fun. Cool. Oh, this is so exciting. And they release it's so cool to watch him go back down. Right. Oh. All right, so we're going to get him back down there. Okay. Nice healthy release. Look at oh him go. Oh my gosh. You can still see him. There he goes. So cool. This is so much fun. <laughs> it like totally puts a different aspect into ice fishing because usually, you know, we go by what's uh, what's on the graph or, yep. you know, what we feel through the line. But to actually see them, oh, so cool. Yep. Yeah, it, uh, Brings a new element in, not not staring at a flasher screen all day. Right, Definitely. right. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that those fish actually came in in a pair. Um, I'm I'm thinking the fish I caught was the female. She's a little bit lighter colored, a little, oh, right. little more chrome. Those females tend to have a, a much shorter snout on them. Okay. And then seeing that colored up male come male. in next right. with the longer jaw, not quite kiped up in a little fish like that, but I'm thinking that might have been. The male paired with that female and while these are stocked fish and i'm not sure if they necessarily spawn um, they definitely go through the motions okay. um, every once in a while you'll catch a female full of eggs just busting with eggs really yep and then uh last weekend even i caught a male that was milking he was preparing to spawn oh. but uh i'm not quite sure if it means anything in these stocked lakes right but it's kind of cool to see him go through the motions like that right so is this normal for that time of year to see that you know, generally it's a little closer to March, uh, okay. a little closer to the end okay. of ice, but uh, I think the brutal cold the last couple of oh. weeks might have kickstarted things. Right, true. Yeah, okay. we usually see those temps more towards the end of January, early February. Mm -hmm. Generally with these stream trout, um, being genetically used to shallow water, uh, we find that they run between one and ten feet below the ice. I've even caught these rainbow trout with uh, scuffed up heads from running directly below the ice sheet. <laughs> yeah, they look kind of goofy when they come through like that, but uh, I figure it's ingrained in their genetics to uh, run a bit shallower like that, and we see a majority of our fish come through very close to the bottom of the ice. Not a city. Oh, there's a trout right there. Aggressive. Hi, buddy, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad he hit your lure because what I was doing is I was changing batteries in the big camera and you're like, oh, there's a big one, he's aggressive and he just came in and smoked you. Yeah. He hit you twice, didn't he? Oh, I, he had it in his mouth twice, <laughs> let it go right away and on the, the third take I was able to actually put a hook in him. That is wicked cool. Come on, buddy. And you just changed lures too. I did, I just changed it from a small jig and wrap. Oop. That's a nice trout. Oh, he's green. He doesn't want to sit still. That's a really nice trout. Yeah. I love the colors. They're just, I mean, that's a big one too. That's a good size one. The cheeks on that guy. Look at the colors on his fins. His fins are almost purple even. Yeah. Along with his body. Got that white tips on the fins there. What a gorgeous fish. Pretty trout. Yeah, this one's a male. You can tell that extended jaw there. So the bottom jaw is longer than the top one. Yep. That's how you can tell it is a male. He's just starting a little tiny baby kipe. Yep. Get him back um, in the water here. 
<laughs> Look at that, right under the ice. He's that. just gonna he's hang right out. Under the ice. And he's a hundred percent fine. Like that fish is not oh, stressed yeah. at all. No. That's just what they prefer to do. Yeah. It's like you catch, you know, rainbow trout or steelhead out in Lake Superior in the summertime. Like, they're always way suspended high in the water column. Great. Same with Lake Michigan. And, you know, those fish kind of have those same traits and characteristics on these inland bodies of water. So that was wicked cool. That was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him. He looked at my lure, which was just sitting there dead still. So I'm glad he didn't hit that one. And I'm glad he went to yours. <laughs> <laughs> what did you What did you change to? Uh, I changed to, it's just like a, a rip and wrap. It's a little moonshine yeah. jig lure here. Yeah. Yeah, little flying bait searches around down in the hole. Good. It's about as close as you can get to a minnow on a tip up out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just put a couple waxies on that treble hook. Yep. I just, well, I, I actually on this guy, I hang one right off the back. It gives you kind of okay. you know, that uh, that plastic tail action. Yep. But out here right now, patience is key. Oh my. It's gosh. like we get one of these fish, and it's going to be a half hour you know, maybe 45 minutes until another one comes in, but you just gotta stay focused because when they come in again, it happens fast and you gotta be on your game. So I'm uh, glad that one bit, that was good. Your way of life means everything to you. That's why we put our everything into fueling. We're here for you every moment, every day, every season with a dependable propane supply and competitive pricing plans that fit your budget. Superior fuel. Switch and save up to $500 annually on your propane. Visit savewithsuperior.com. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in Esco, where customers become friends. On long road trips, performance and reliability are factors you need to count on. Up here in northern Minnesota and into Canada, sub-zero temps are customary and negative 40 is not uncommon. Plugging in your diesel truck as well overnight is not always an option either. That's why we rely on AMSOIL diesel all-in-one fuel additive. Anti-gel properties combined with cetane for increased power means performance even in the toughest of conditions. Visit AMSOIL.com today for more information. Marine General, ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. And now it's time for this week's Markham Moment. Brought to you by Markham Technologies. Although it's early March and the general Minnesota fishing season is now closed for the year, a lot of our biggest fish of the season, of the ice season that is, are yet to come. That's because walleye season up, if you're talking up north on the Minnesota and Ontario border, it's open until April 14th. Meaning areas like Rainy Lake, Lake of the Woods, there is still a ton of good ice fishing to come. So by no means are we putting away our ice gear now that the Minnesota season is closed. Lake Superior guys, still a bunch of ice out here. Lake trout, salmon, both open. Um, Lake Winnipeg and Manitoba, that's open into springtime here. So, I mean, now is the time to really focus on, for walleyes for instance, spawning areas. Big pike as well. So position yourselves on the outside of these big spawning bays where these fish are going to go and spawn and you can have some of the best fishing of the year. We have a couple trips planned to Rainy Lake, Lake of the Woods and a few other border waters yet this spring and we are more than excited because we know there's going to be big fish involved. Good? Good. 
fish. Yeah, buddy. That is unbelievable. We watch this fish in the house. Come on the iFish Pro. <laughs> oh, he's pulling. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm full of snow because running over here, I tripped and fell. <laughs> it's all, it's what you love, man. Look at this. I got to keep him out of that wood. There's so much wood down there. This is a heavy fish. Seeing that fish come and eat. It's a good looking rainbow. That, I, I want to see this, man. There he is. Holy cow, that's huge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy. That's big. He's coming up like sideways. This is a big rainbow. Here he comes, we're gonna get him right now. Yeah, yeah buddy. Look at, Look that. at that rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> that is huge. That is huge. Holy cow, bud. Well done, man. That That's makes the day right there. Beautiful rainbow. That makes the day. And that just goes to show you that these fish just want something still. Oh, I mean, right yeah. now, that's what they want. Yeah, it looks like dead six to ticket. But look at that fish. That's a, that's a, what do you think? Low 20s for sure. I mean, that's a heck of a fish. Yeah, I'd say that's over. It's just wild. It's just wild. Crazy. Let's get him, let's get him back, huh? That's the best part right there. That's the best part. Watching a fish of that caliber swim away. We don't need to come here and keep something like that and have an impact on the lake. Let them go. You know they're back down there. Someone else can come catch them. They'll grow another five, six inches. Who knows, man? Like, that's a heck of a fish. True, true, true. You got him. Nice. Nice. I'll net him for you, bud. Oh, we're going for a little run. There he goes. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Holy cow. It is so fun to watch them eat. Straight off to the side there. He took a big run too. Oops, there he is. A little bit. Look at that. Beautiful rainbow trout. It's a nice one. You are on fire right yeah. now, buddy. <laughs> got the hot stick today. You got that back hook on him. Get some. There we go. I'll let you grab him there. Got him unhooked. It's nice having a landing net like this. We can uh, take extra good care of these fish, but that's a beautiful one. That's a nice fish, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Should we uh, let them go? Yeah, watch another one swim away. Perfect. He's a little tired out. Yeah, he went on a he went on a big run there. Oh, there you go. He's still got a little <laughs> left in. <there. laughs> nice. Well, buddy, not every day is a home run. Again, you can't pick and choose what days you fish, unfortunately. So, um, you know what days you have set. You just got to get out there and give it a try. And uh, you never know what can happen throughout the course of the day. But we were pretty fortunate to see the fish that we saw. Those are truly, like, awesome. I mean, those are oh, big Those are big rainbows, huh? definitely saw some trophy caliber fish. We saw some and caught two that were decent size, too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with those fish. Those are unbelievable to see. Yep but some of those are just swimming down there will uh, get your heart going, that's for sure. And we are gonna be back and hopefully we can see one of those in the future. So from Morgan, Zach and I, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.